is not a spring chicken. I don't know about you, but this happens to be, yes, the busiest travel day of the year, the day before Thanksgiving. And so just for Thanksgiving, of course, I'm celebrating with pumpkin. <laughs> it's like this. These are like turkey colors, right? Um, these are harvest colors, breast and brown and things like that. Oh, yes, but even though you're all getting ready yet to split work, or maybe you're already on the road, because you know what? The traffic started here at LAX a couple days ago. But meanwhile, I guess news still continues, and we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Here we go. <laughs> it's a good thing I moved. <laughs> we love this guy. This is, we got this from... A, a business event, actually, it was technology. We, we got it from but, a CEA event. CES event. Yeah. We, we love it. We, we've been trying to find another one. We, we, we found out we've been calling it by the wrong name. Yeah, we've been calling it a screeching monkey and it's. And so, I don't know about you, but we're getting ready for Thanksgiving and having a little bit of holiday humor. Yeah, see, look, he's riding the back of the bull. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Obama is to order tax increases on the wealthy to make up the unjust profits that Bush and the Republicans have given the wealthy. I know. He's actually, I mean, the market tanked this morning. It went down every time he opens his mouth, the market goes down. And... I, you know, it, it would worry me if I actually thought this guy was really serious about this stuff. But he just wants to basically destroy our economy because he knows. Okay, he, he knows that they said the sad part about it. I heard one of the people talking, one of the Democrats that basically is a supporter. He actually can do it. He oh, actually really? can raise taxes by half a trillion dollars as long as he holds the Senate. He has to hold. Um, Excellent. What is going to hold uh, one vote in the Senate, I think, or something, uh, one more vote than he would normally hold? Because if the Republicans can't get uh, enough votes to pass it through the Senate uh, you know, to stop his spending, you have to have um, okay. The Democrat House of Representatives has to approve any spending bills, and the Senate has to approve it too. But they can't stop Obama from spending unless they have an act of Congress in order to stop his expenditures. And if the Senate holds this line and they keep 51 votes, that, then he cannot uh, be stopped on his taxes. And anti-Obama material sells four times greater than pro-Obama sales. Oh, i got to cover the years. In that, they said, how just like this? I was listening to one of their, de what, okay, the whole Democratic Party wants this man gone. He just seems to be the only, only you know, the only person in the world that seems to think that they love him is Obama. But um, they, uh, they, they said that the, the very fact is that only a quarter of the people want anything that he has to offer. And he's only got, uh, you know, his popularity is now at the 33%. He has got the lowest rating of any first-term president since ratings began. So, I mean, he, now he's, he is like Jimmy Carter. But I, I, I don't know, but I don't have to be considered the worst president of our nation now because you have Barack Obama. Ah, uh, and <laughs> yeah. Obama continues to blame Bush and the Republicans for everything but the meteor that hit the earth, it hit the earth killing the dinosaurs, and O'Reilly still asks why he's doing it. Uh, I heard him last night on one of the talk shows, one of the people that knows him, said, this guy's got to be the biggest. I mean, he, he said, Obama is too smart. He can't possibly be doing something that's dumb because he's too smart. Well, I'm, I'm very smart and I do dumb things all the time. Mm -hmm. So the smarter you are, smart has nothing to do with whether you do stupid things or not. Smart people start wars. Smart people make bad investments. And, uh, and so to say, he's too smart, I can't understand why. Because he doesn't, as the guy said who works on Fox all the time, because he doesn't give a damn. All he wants to do is be in charge, and he doesn't care what he has to do. If he destroys the economy, he's a socialist, folks. He, he's, he's also, he's, he's, a, he's like I am. He's a half-breed, and uh, he's pissed off about white guys. So he's trying he's to pissed destroy. pissed off about white guys? Well, no. Well, he doesn't fit in, like I did. I mean, okay, when I was young, Cowboys and Indians was very popular, and I didn't get to play the cowboy. I didn't get to play the uh, Indian. I played the dirty half breed all the time. Ooh. And then you know when the, when they, they called, you know they, they basically 
you know, we actually had telephones back in those olden days, and they'd call up, and basically it would, you would, you know, you'd go, ring, 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 ring. That's how you got your, you know, how many rings you got on your party line. Oh, is that, oh, that's yeah. right, party lines. It's been a long time since you've been heard about that. And they'd call up, they'd tell my mother, you know, that they're, you know, you're, you know, they're playing half-breed. And they said, so? And they said, yes, but don't you find that objectionable? Well, since he is, I don't think so. So, well, <laughs> yeah, that's the way it worked. <laughs> that's what the Indians refer to somebody that's married outside of their race. They called him a half breed. That's right. It was a derogatory term for my family members. You think that a, a Caucasian soldier marrying an Asian woman was a naughty thing to do? Mm -hmm. Try to be a Caucasian marrying an American Indian and see what that does to you. Oh, was. really? Oh, they really did not like that. Ooh. Well, Clinton, oh, actually, Bush joined Clinton on the campaign trail overseas. Oh, yeah, they're going to promote American ingenuity, American ingenuity. they're going to promote health, American health care being the finest in the world. Uh, they're going to be promoting... But is that before Obamacare? Yeah, they said, and they're going to be promoting Hillary a lot, folks. Ooh, look, that's, good. that's a nice shot over there. And great government set to win the confidence vote, and cracks emerge. Yeah, because they don't want, okay, they got rid of the premier, uh, Pompidou, and they replaced him with a business person, and guess who they blame for all the problems in Greece is the business leaders. Oh, really? So what you really want to do is to put a business leader in that they blame for all of the problems. It really makes a lot of sense, but that's uh, it's like, uh, okay, we've been doing a roundtable thing over on one of my, um, one of my Facebook things, basically, the Democrats are attacking the Republicans right and left. So I basically did the reverse attack. I did a, I did a simple response, which I simply said that when it comes, to the, the, it comes to this discussion, I defer to the great Mark Twain, who said simply that uh, the difference between Republicans and Democrats is that when a Democrat finds a wallet laying on a street, the Democrat puts the wallet in his back pocket and says it's his. When a Republican finds a wallet on a street, he takes all the money out of the wallet and sends the wallet back to the person that owned it. So you can figure out there's no difference in this style, and somebody else. Then it starts a whole thread of people saying, you know, you know, they're, you know, the. They said Republicans and Democrats both have a different philosophy, but unfortunately, they get to that different philosophy the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that it's a whole thread of people doing their quotes from from a comics and from. Uh, right. Oh, that's good. I should go look at that one. Yeah, but <laughs> it, it is fun because. Uh, what they were doing, they were basically jumping all over, you know, like the clowns and, and morons statements that were made, you know, about, you know, well, Sarah, ba Sarah Bachman, or whatever, whatever, Martin, whatever her name is. Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman is nothing but a clown. She doesn't have the info. Well, she's got a master's degree. She's a lawyer. I don't think you want to piss off lawyers because yesterday Jimmy Fallon made a massive apology on the air to Michelle Bachman about his band playing a thing basically calling her, referring to her as a, as a moron, an imbecile. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, they also got hit by the network over it, because anybody know who owns NBC, folks? Who? The largest conservative owner of, uh, of uh, television stations and cable channels in the United States, Comcast. Oh. And all of those liberal type people are going bye-bye over it, NBC. Mm. They're getting rid of them all because that's not their philosophy. Comcast only bought NBC because Comcast was afraid of net neutrality, which basically says we need to put our faith in the people that most know how to handle the internet, which are broad, which are the major broadcast networks and newspapers. And 190,000 signatures demanding Target stop its 12 o'clock opening. They are going to. I mean, yeah, right. Like they're going to change that. No, but uh, there, there's massive discovery. But just about this. Uh, okay. I grew up, my mother was in the restaurant business, my father was a police, reserve police officer. My father worked, I never saw my mother and father on holidays. My mother worked every holiday. My father would basically, if you're, if you're a reserve officer, it's like double time or triple time to work on holidays. I know, there's a lot of people It's like, yeah, give me the holiday shift. That's right, they all want that. And uh, so he would work those things because he had seniority and, you know, but, um, uh, and then listen to my conversation last night. You can tell the people that are the Democrats, we have to stand up for the rights of Americans to spend this day with their family. 
Well, the day is over, folks. That's midnight. Midnight is the start of another day, and they don't know the difference. And they said that uh, uh, they said businesses haven't closed on on Thanksgiving for God knows how long. Restaurants are open, grocery stores mm -hmm. are open, gas stations are open because it's a bloody travel day. You can't travel from one point to another without having things open. Yeah, you have to. So bitching about it's not going to do anything. And a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain in the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, oh, actually, we're going to do this very simple. That even though our our country's leaders can't get together, you have to remember the spirit behind Thanksgiving is that basically it was a bunch of people from different uh, different uh, backgrounds and Indians that got together and simply gave thanks for the fact that they actually brought in a good crop and harvest. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm.